Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 35 Moses assembled all the congregation of the children of Israel and said to them, These are the words which Yahweh has commanded, that you should do them. Six days shall work be done. On the seventh day, there shall be a holy day for you, a Sabbath of solemn rest to Yahweh. Whoever does any work in it shall be put to death. You shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations on the Sabbath day. Moses spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which Yahweh commanded, saying, Take from among you an offering to Yahweh. Whoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it. You're always offering gold, silver, brass, blue, purple, scarlet, fine linen, goat's hair, lambskins, dyed red, sea cow hides, acacia wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ephod and the best plate. Let every wise hearted man among you come. Make all that Yahweh has commanded, the tabernacle, its outer covering, its roof, its collapse, its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its sockets, the ark and its poles, the mercy seat, the veil of the screen, the table with its poles, and all its vessels, and the showbread, the lampstand also for the light, with its vessels, its lamps, and the oil for the light and the altar of incense with its poles, the anointing oil, the sweet incense, the screen for the door, and the door of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering, with its grating of brass, its poles, and all its vessels, the basin and its base, the hangings of the court, its pillars, the sockets, and the screen for the gate of the court, the pins of the tabernacle, the pins of the court, and their cords, the finely worked garments for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office. All the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. They came, everyone whose heart stirred them up, and everyone who in spirit made willing, and brought Yahweh's offering for the work of the tent of meeting, for all of its service for the holy garments. They came, both men and women, as many as were willing hearted, and bought brooches, earrings, signet rings and armlets, all jewels of gold, even every man who offered an offering of gold to Yahweh, everyone with whom was found blue, purple, scarlet, fine linen, goat's hair, ram skins, dyed red, and seeker hides bought them. Everyone who offered an offering of silver and brass what Yahweh's offering, and everyone with whom was found acacia wood for any work of the service brought it. All the women who were wise hearted spun with their hands, and brought that which they had spun, the blue, the purple, the scarlet and the fine linen. All the women whose heart stirred them up in wisdom spun the goat's hair. The rulers brought the onyx stones, and the stones to be set, for the ephod and for the breastplate, and the spice, and the oil for the light, for the anointing oil, 
and for the sweet incense. The children of Israel brought a free will offering to Yahweh. Every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for the work which Yahweh had commanded to be made by Moses. Moses said to the children of Israel, Listen, Yahweh has called by name Bezalel, the son of Yahweh, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. He has filled them with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all kinds of workmanship, to make skillful works, to work in gold, in silver, in brass, cutting off stones for setting, and carving of wood, to work in all kinds of skillful workmanship. He has put in his heart that they may teach, both he and Horeb of Lab, the son of Ashamak, the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with wisdom of heart, to work all kinds of workmanship, of the engraver, of the skillful workman, and of the embroiderer, in blue, in purple, in scarlet, and in fine linen, and of the weaver, even of those who do any workmanship, and of those who make skillful works.